What's up everyone, welcome to the video. Today I've got the DJI Osmo Action 4. This just arrived, got this as an upgrade to my Hero 9, GoPro Hero 9 that I've had for the better part of three years. I was gonna get the GoPro Hero 12, but I did some researching, watched some videos. I think the DJI is gonna be a better fit for me. So let's open it up, see what it looks like, and see what's included. I did get the Adventure Combo. So let's see what comes in there. Looks like it comes with some pretty decent stuff already. Got a little logging pole. Open this bad boy up. All right, this is interesting. It's not a tripod, but it looks like it has that same GoPro style mount right there. Tiny. Tighten the lens protective cover before taking in water. Okay, if I take this thing in water, I'll probably go ahead and um, put a water case on it anyway. Okay, so the looks like there is a weather seal in there. Cool, Let's put that back on so we don't get any dust in there. That's where the battery looks like battery goes. Very similar to the GoPro battery, but you probably can't use the GoPro battery. Let's see what we got in here. Got a mount right here. That I like. It's a strong magnet. Very strong magnet. Cool, cool. It looks like you have to have it. Nice. Okay, important. I found the microphone here. Here is the microphone. Right there. That's one of the microphones. As you can see on the GoPro, I already put the furry microphones on top and on the bottom. And this really helps with the wind noise. It makes the wind noise almost, you almost can't hear the wind noise. So I'll have to figure out where the microphones are. I'll probably just have to cover this and maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll have to put microphones here too across where it says action four. All right, let's see what's in the accessories. This is what I was most excited about. This is what's going to make this simpler. I'm all about making things simple and keeping, you know, I asked myself lately, is this going to make my life simpler or more complicated? And having a battery case like this and being able to just put the batteries in there and charge it with one cable instead of charging just two at a time like my GoPro, this is going to make things so much simpler. So I'm really happy. And this is the main reason why I got the, I got the DJI. Ooh. English? How do I activate it? Oh, I have to activate. Okay, I gotta activate it. Rocksteady. I love that name. <laughs> I love that name, Rocksteady. Recommended frames. I want to do 60. And let's do 4K 60. Reason I like 4K 60 or I like the 60 frames per second is because you can slow the footage down and it's a lot of fun to slow the footage down. My big light I just bought for $50 and my small ring light that I've had for a while. And there's the camera, you can see. Cool. All right, so I mentioned that I was either going to, I guess I could turn this off now. Sounds great too. I mentioned that I was thinking of going with the GoPro Hero 12, just because I'm already in the GoPro ecosystem, just means I have a couple of extra batteries and I'm used to the GoPro anyway. I'm used to the buttons. I, I know where the microphones are, but the more I read about it, it just seemed like the image quality, since this has almost a one inch sensor, a one inch sensor camera, this camera, the ZV-1 and the ZV-1, you know, the small point and shoot cameras, these have one inch sensors so you can get better background blur and you could also get better low light footage. So for riding a bike into the evening and even into the night, since the sun sets at about five o'clock nowadays here in New York City, the DJI is going to give me a better picture in low light than the GoPro is. And also watching some other cycling channels, they basically just said, or. They didn't say, they did some audio test. It sounds like the audio on here is actually considerably better than the audio on here. Uh, you can also use a microphone. You can use the DJI microphone. I don't have that DJI microphone, but that is an added bonus that you can just open the door, plug it in and pretty much you're good to go, clip it onto your shirt, that wireless microphone. But one thing that I also really, really like is just being able to record audio straight onto the device. I try to do this with my phone a lot, but I've been failing just because either the wired microphone that I picked up, either it, the audio cuts out and sounds terrible, or I just deal with it. 
Now the simplest thing would be just to use a device that records good audio or where you can connect the microphone like this and just put it on. So that's one big thing. That was the, one of the main reasons why I got the DJI over the GoPro. Audio and image quality considerably better, at least from what I could tell watching other videos, than the GoPro Hero 12. Also as an added bonus, when a new player comes into the industry, they do get off of you more at a lower price and DJI is pretty much, it seems like they're a new player in the industry. They're doing some great things. They've got that new Pocket 3 that came out. They've got some great microphones as well. So I always would prefer to support the smaller business, the new ones, the startups, just because they're going to push these big guys, the GoPros, the Sonys of the world, to actually step up their game and go ahead and, okay, now they're gonna have to give us a bigger sensor, better audio and longer battery life, which this all comes with. Also, another reason why I bought the Adventure combo is because of this battery case. This is awesome. The GoPro, I have a couple of batteries. I have just, I have four extra batteries and I have a small little square thing that only charges two batteries at once. So I have to constantly check the batteries and go back and forth, back and forth. It is really nice that DJI allowed us to just get, they gave us a case, a charging case right there. You can charge all three and you can just swap them and you're good to go. This thing, although I do wish it was a tripod, this thing is super long. Look how long this is. This is sitting on the floor right now. This thing is probably, this has got to be, this is five feet long. Five feet long, that's awesome. You could really put it all the way. You can almost get some fake drone shots with this. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. I almost forgot another reason why I wanted to get a new action camera um, and then why I settled on the DJI. I, I wanna do more New York City vlogs, but I also wanna do more bike rides as well. So being able to kill, kill two birds with one stone, sort of, having a better camera, a better action camera that's gonna be better in low light, better audio and gives you a better picture and just have just be simpler to use with this battery case might be a little bit easier than dealing with the GoPro. I always feel like I'm sacrificing image quality and a little bit of audio quality when I use this one, especially if I'm riding around and it starts to get dark and I wouldn't want to carry my big full frame camera with me all the time if I'm cycling. So I always felt like I was caught in between. Do I bring my big full frame camera and get the best of the best? Do I deal with this or do I just go with the phone, but then I have a problem with the phone if it's loud or if it's windy, the audio just falls apart. So it's really nice. I do think that this DJI is gonna solve some of those issues for me and help me get out there and do more vlogs and cycling vlogs for you. So that has been my unboxing of the DJI Osmo Action 4. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped. Reminder, if you enjoyed this content, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I will talk to you in the next one. See you soon, bye.